Hey guys. As we all know, children are analogous to unmolded clay. In this video, we will discuss how today's technology is molding the lives. The sudden upsurge of talks and news making rounds all over the media is the blue whale challenge. This fancy term makes us delve into rethinking the harmful prospects that technology poses for children. Since we have already started talking about this game, let us analyze how did it impact young minds all across the globe. According to The Sun, UK, around 130 suicides alone have been reported in Russia as of the 12th of September 2017. The creator of the game, Philip Budakin, a former psychology student, used technology to manipulate children's mental health to satiate his socially unacceptable motives. The challenges involved in the game require children to perform tasks that are considered menacing even for grown-up individuals. Children are also being motivated to undertake unethical stints like stealing their parents' phones, using their internet accounts in their oblivion, etc. They are also being maneuvered to perform physically harmful tasks like carving whales on their arms. Children are often seen falling prey to pedophilic cases. And, social media is proving to be the most efficient vehicle in reaching the dreaded destination. Vultures waiting for their praise pose as some authentic character and lure kids into captivating conversations. Eventually forcing them to send inappropriate images of themselves and blackmail them based on the gathered information. Consequences of such acts range from blackmailing for ransoms to rapes and murders. Alicia Kay, from Pittsburgh, USA, underwent unimaginable torture and trauma when she met her online social media friend without her parents' knowledge. The 13-year-old was kidnapped, raped and kept under inhumane conditions for four long days before she was eventually rescued after clues were extracted from the obscene video that the kidnapper had released. Technology today also gives easy access to inappropriate content to children that are forbidden by morale as well as by a few laws in certain countries. India recently banned some porn sites in the years 2014 and 2015, yet there are many such sites that are still operational and pretty decently available to anyone on the internet. Nathan Haug, now a 17-year-old from Utah, confessed that he had started watching porn when he was 12 years old and the addiction reached such levels that he couldn't sleep at night and his health started deteriorating unmeasurably. Unlike all, he was fortunate enough to have the courage to face his parents about this matter and redeem his life. A recent study has shown that 7 out of 10 children have been exposed to porn, either accidentally or on purpose. Premature exposure to such content can adversely affect a child. Hero worship is another one of the many intimidating cases involving innocent and immature youngsters. Kids believe all that they see on television, or social media, or on any other technological platform. Kids ape stunts performed in movies and reality shows that prove to be extremely harmful. In 2006, after the Indian superhero movie Krish was released, a seven-year-old boy Shivam, a resident of Bhutnath Road in Patna, jumped off a five-story building in an attempt to ape the stunts performed in the movie. Even though the injuries were not life-threatening, they were severe enough for certain life lessons to be learned. We could go on and on about the scary effects that technology has on the young minds and the lives. It is our humble request to everyone to spread awareness about such heinous crimes prevalent and prevent children from falling prey to this merciless piranha. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more.